What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, it's after midnight. I can't quite yet fall asleep. So maybe if I do this when I'm done, I'll be able to fall asleep very nicely. Well, this is the Debian 8, the Mate or Mate version. We looked at the GNOME version before. Uh, if you go to the mate-desktop.org, I think, scroll to the bottom. And according to the website, this is pronounced Mate in spite of it being spelled the mate. So contrary to popular belief on YouTube, I guess this is pronounced Mate. Hey, some people just can't help themselves. Let's move along. We have the top panel, time and date, networking, volume, right click volume. And we'll have sound effects, hardware, input, output, application, the usual stuff here, nothing out of the ordinary. If you're coming from Windows, this will be very, very easy. In fact, with this, uh, given a choice between the previous GNOME version I looked at and this, I'd probably stick with this, the Mate version. I install Kazam Screen Recorder. Right-click to install the weather applet. The way to do that, you right-click, and this is one of my favorite things about the Mate desktop. Search bar or WEA Weather. It's already there on the top, so I think I'll just leave it the way it is. I did uh, add these rolling eyes, eyeballs to the panel. I'm not really sure why it's there, but hey, it's there. You right click, there's some other options. You can go to properties such as auto hide the panel. I'll leave it the way it is. There is a bottom panel. The bottom panel is really not required, but I'll leave it there for now. All right, applications, places and system. Again, this is self-explanatory. This is the old uh, GNOME 2 look. If there is such a thing as a classic desktop for Linux, maybe this is it. We have the shortcuts here at the on the desktop. Applications, now the one thing about this Debian 8, their focus is all about stability versus say bleeding edge or cutting edge software and I believe this is supported for um, is it five years I think so so if you are a beginner or not and if you want something you install it once and leave it at least for the next couple of years maybe this is the one to go with uh, in fact I'm pretty sure it is so let's go to let's go to the monitor and check it out all right I'm running two pieces of applications two pieces of software I'm running the cheese for my uh, webcam and the Kazam recorder not bad, less than 500 megabytes of RAM. That's pretty fast, pretty lightweight, actually. Okay, let's see. Places, go to the home folder. You can do compact view, list, and icon. By the way, this is the default uh, desktop, the default fonts. I haven't changed anything. You can. It looks fine, so I'll leave it the way it is. Let's go to system, preferences. Uh, let's go to startup applications. I changed this somewhat. Let's see, print. I do very little printing, so I do not need that at startup. And I think there was something else, or was that it? The um, Maybe that was it. I thought there was something else. Oh, there was the Orca screen reader. I just removed it. So by removing startup programs, you don't need such as those two. This should run a little bit faster, at least at startup. Okay, one of the ways to install applications is to go to the Synaptic Package Manager, a powerful tool to install and remove software in Linux. And let's see, why don't we click search? How about, um, what is not installed? How about Chromium? Let's see if it's there in the repository. I believe it is. Do a quick search here, and there it is. Right click, mark for installation. You can install it if you so choose to. And I do like my buttons on the right, being right-handed. All right, what else do we have here? Here, The control center. Again, pretty basic stuff here. This is similar to the, I suppose, similar to the control panel in Windows. Very uh, self-explanatory. Power management. Actions put the computer to sleep when inactive for never or 10 minutes up to two hours. General, always display icon when the power button is pressed. Ask me again, very simple, basic stuff. Again, for Windows users, this is probably the one to go with. 
I'm running the Ubuntu Mate version of Ubuntu 15.04. Panel at the bottom, what I'm, what I'm currently running here is the cheese piece of software. So what can I say? Mate is terrific. Again, I have the Ubuntu Mate 15.04 I'm using now. You may like this also. Uh, you may like it, like it better, I don't know. For beginners, mm -hmm, maybe Ubuntu Mate might be better, although, although this is not difficult to install and understand. Again, this is multi-year support for this version of the Mate desktop. Ubuntu 15.04, I believe, is only um, nine months. I don't mind installing something uh, short-term supported, then deleting it and then installing the next version. For beginners, you may want to go with this or with the Ubuntu Mate, the LTE, the LTS version, which is the 14.04. But for Debian 8, Running this even in a virtual machine has been super stable and no surprises as well it should be stable. I like it and I may just keep it. I'm running this inside um, Windows 8.1 as the host. All right, well that's it for my quick look here at the Debian 8 Mate or Mate. Check it out. I think you'll like it. And uh, that's it for this one. I think I'm ready for bed. So thank you for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.